both boxes are gauging one and other. Stuart is doing an offensive gauge prodding his front hand. Dirty in the camouflage is doing a defense gauge in response and changing his level in a negative manner creating space between his opponent. Stuart shows us why we must attack with variety. Garrity pops to light jabs. When he attempted the third, Stuart shoots a counter down the pipe. Notice how Gertke immediately changed guard position to in front of his face and was able to parry Stuart's cross. Garrity has a tight high guard. He edges forward knowing Stuart will struggle to find gaps. And on the reverse, Stuart guard is open. At close range, a tight guard has the tactical advantage. Boxing his chess. Having an open guard means opponent doesn't need to set up attacks against you to land. All Stuart's attacks cannot get past the tight guard, but Gary's have no opposing resistance. Beautiful counter. Stuart has shown Southpaw's weakness to crosses. He took one to land one, but this exchange in punches proves straight shots will always land faster. Gary's attack was launched first but it was a hook coming across horizontally. Stewart attack was a vertical cross thus landed first. Gary is looking to apply pressure. He is slowly edging forward with a tight guard and weight on back foot creating space. Moving forward with a tight guard puts pressure on opponents. They can't see an opening. If they don't react fast, you'll be in punching range. Stewart chains level, making it easier to land body shots. Gary didn't react, so Stuart took advantage with hook to body. At times, when opponents pressure you, it's much better to hold and stop the attack in its tracks. Nice work from Stuart. But what stood out to me in this exchange was Gary's composure to take shots on a guard staying in punching range. Once in close range, the punches that are short are the punches that land first. In these exchanges, if you're not punching, it's best to hold and close the gap. As you can see, Stuart's guard is open, and in the middle of an attack, it can be hard to compose yourself. Never allow yourself to be caught in exchanges. Step towards opponents and smother. The first time Stuart's guard is up, he blocks attack. Carry shows ring IQ and finishes attack to body. Stuart's only mistake this whole round is his guard is open. But can you see how important it is to have a tight guard? After uppercut, he was countered because Chin was in air. But watch how a tight guard and smothering opponent completely stopped attack. Beautiful counter, Stewart has landed yet another cross. But this time, he took his head off the line, slipping attack. Key points from spar. Always maintain a tight guard. Very attack from head and body. Be aware on distance of opponent. 